100 murders in 20 days as bloodletting continues unabated. AK-47 rifle, block pistol, pluck from rifle lane in flankers. Cop nabs a gun-toting man after fatal shooting in car. At least 100 people have been murdered in Jamaica since the start of the year. A rate of 5 per day as the bloodletting from 2017 has continued into the first 3 weeks of 2018. According to statistics from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, at least 100 murders were recorded up to Saturday, January 20th. This is 13 more than the number of murders recorded for the corresponding period last year. Both the St. Catherine North and Clarendon Police Divisions have recorded 13 murders, while 9 were recorded in St. Andrew's South. But while murders continue seemingly unabated, the JCF is reporting a reduction in other major crimes during the period. The reported cases of rape are down 50%, aggravated assault is down 51%, while break-ins have declined by 50% during the period under review. The state of public emergency now on in St. James recorded another success on Monday morning with the seizure of an AK-47 rifle and a handgun during a joint police military operation in Flanka in Montego Bay. The Jamaica Defense Force reported that in addition to the rifle, a Glock pistol, two magazines and several rounds of ammunition were found in the rifle lane section of Flanka. The seizure brought to fore the number of illegal guns that have been taken in by the security forces since the state of emergency was declared last Thursday. The finding flanker come on the heels of Thursday's seizure of a Kalishnikov rifle and six live rounds in the same community. Another weapon was seized at the scene of the shooting of five persons, one fatally at a funeral service in the Quarry community on Saturday. The weapon which was found on Thursday is theorized to have featured in a brazen murder on Sunset Boulevard near the Sanctus International Airport in Montego Bay recently. That weapon is to undergo ballistic and forensic testing to determine its history. A fast-acting policeman who happened to be at the right place at the right time managed to nab an alleged gunman and seize a firearm following the shooting death of another man on Henderson Avenue in Olympic Garden St. Andrew on Sunday evening. Police reports are that about 7.45 p.m. explosions were heard coming from a motor vehicle that was traveling along Henderson Avenue. The vehicle subsequently crashed into a utility pole. A man was then seen exiting the vehicle with a firearm in his hand. He reportedly attempted to flee the scene but was quickly held by a policeman who was in the area. The seized weapon is a Browning 9mm pistol which had a magazine containing two rounds. The man who was shot was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. His identity was not immediately known and no motive has yet been established for the killing. The police are appealing to anyone with additional information that could assist their investigations to contact the Olympic Gardens Police at 923-5468 or Crime Stop at 311. The police 119 emergency number or via the Stay Alert app or the nearest police station. Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet. Until next time, walk good.